kingdom of demons, huh? This sanctuary. After all this time, all these battles, I've finally reached my goal. The beginning and the end of all things in this universe. Honest, you have arrived in the heart of my kingdom. Welcome, you. You have done well to come so far. I am almost impressed. Us. The humans and the vampires are doomed. Both the great seals are here. Am I too late? Still a chance. Think how much we could achieve together. How powerful you could be with my protection. We will be unto gods. None will be our equal. even the smallest hope of saving the world, saving the humans and the vampires, I won't falter. I will not break my word. Min Lord, I'm coming for you, Mephisto. So be it. And welcome to the last stage of Necrovision. It's time to kill the biggest bastard in the universe and get all this shit over with. That big bastard is Mephisto, and we are an equal uh, bastard ourselves, Simon. That device is the Golem Guardian. It will sense your presence and awaken. It knows you, Master. It knows you are the Chosen One. He's a big one, ain't he? So yeah, we got the Golem Guardian, the guardian that's completely not a mechanical guardian, even though it says it. And this is apparently what we're going to be using to fight Mephesto with. It has a machine gun, uh, just like the Mechanical Guardian does, but its other hand is actually a bit different. It's not the grenade launcher like it was before. It's, uh, it's a god launcher. I'm sure it fires divine bolts. I never wanted this. I just wanted to fight my war, not get dragged into yours, but you took all that away from me. Ungrateful wretch, look how much my war has given you. 
You are greater than any human that has ever lived. You shall be on your knees before me, but instead, you will bow your head in death. Reckon so? I am here for redemption, for my people, and for all the others you have enslaved. Your time is over, demon. Alright, so this is the boss fight proper with Mephisto. He's, uh, I think he's got three stages all total. And they are all a big pain in the ass, mostly because you cannot hurt him with the machine gun. You actually have to hurt him with your god bolts, your kamehamehamehames. Or your sure you can, whatever you, whatever you want to call the damn things. They're balls of white light. And it runs off adrenaline. And the only way to get adrenaline is to kill the manta rays and flying demons that appear. Otherwise, Mephisto will just keep on chucking fireballs at you and gradually whittling down your health. And if your divine mechanical guardian dies, you are basically fucked. You can fight him a little bit with the razor after you've uh, lost the guardian, but otherwise you're probably going to die. So yeah, uh, we... I really hate the storyline in this game. I, I don't... I wish they had just completely left out the cinematics, as they do nothing but just confuse the hell out of me. Like the seals. Where did the seals come from? Can't take the heat, huh? Alright, stage two. We're now somewhere else in a much smaller arena. Uh, Mephesto can actually get to us now, which is uh, a bit of a minor problem. He'll do a... Here, take a little painkiller. He'll do a bit of a stomping attack, which hurts like a bastard, while we get mashed in the face with manta rays, which is a bit of annoyance. But yeah, we got seals that apparently will open the door to hell, even though there is a portal to hell, which we've already entered. And for some reason, Simon had one of these seals, and that's apparently doomed all of humanity. Maybe. I, I don't know where the idea of the seals came in. I don't really understand the idea of, you know, the great old gods, whoever they might be, Yahweh, uh, Allah, whatever, somehow entrusting these two seals to uh, humans and vampires to keep a balance, I guess. I guess they, that humans and vampires are good and evil, or Mephesto is evil, and he never got a seal, and I don't, I don't really, honestly don't know. But, uh, back to this boss fight, there's plenty of explosions, there's plenty of time left. And honestly, uh, for the most part, kind of hard to tell sometimes whether or not you're actually hitting him with your fireballs, or if you're hitting the manta rays of demons with your fireballs, or if he really just doesn't take that much damage in the first place. So, uh, it ends up making this boss fight a lot longer than it needs to be, but, uh, you know, it's epic nonetheless. Get back here and face me, you cheating coward! Alright, so now we are in the very final arena. There's, uh, there's a lot more room to work with here. Which is for the best, because Mephesto really wants to stomp us with his cloven hoof. So it's as good as time as any to completely haul ass and get caught up on random logs. I, I don't understand why there's barricades and random logs. And yeah, this fight really makes absolutely no sense and it goes on for way too long and it's it's a good fitting metaphor for uh, Necrovision as a whole and by this point uh, you've seen everything the game has to offer about a billion times over because it kept doing it over and over again you want uh, large enemy rushes well that's you got it more than you want you want goofy plot lines and one-liners, well, there's a specific button for that. 
you want uh, bullshit enemies you can't really tell if you're hitting or not well it's got that too it's got a uh, big four-armed bladed asshole right in front of you where you're really not uh, sure if you're hitting him or not along with the fact that the only way to damage it is to hit the very tiny enemies that are randomly you know spawned in around the arena but you know what we've uh, we persevered through and uh, this fight's close to being over the bad thing is that the divine guardian here is also pretty close to death which is usually how this boss fight will go no matter what you do but you just had to push through and hope for the best hope that your you know dodging skills are applicable and on par with what they expected.